He's been in power two weeks and already announced a raft of, well, controversial measures, is putting it mildly, including that travel ban. We're talking well, about President Trump. Yeah, it's been a flurry of executive orders and was pro possibly one of, uh, one of the more uncontroversial so far. Mm. Uh, President Donald Trump announced his nominee to the US Supreme Court. He described Judge Neil Gorsuch as the man our country needs and needs badly. Well, let's talk to celebrity journalist, uh, Democrat, Perez Hilton. And from South Carolina, we're joined by Trump supporter, Alex Shalgren. Uh, welcome to you both. Well, Perez, I wonder if it has come to something where we're now announcing uh, a Supreme Court judge nominee um, like this particular individual as uncontroversial. Is he uncontroversial to you? Uh, he's very controversial, not just to me, but to uh, the LGBT community as a whole. Gorsuch has already been denounced by every major LGBT org, from the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation to the Human Rights Campaign. His past judgments speak for themselves, and he's also somebody that women should be very concerned about as well. He's ruled in the past that insurance companies should not cover contraception, birth control. So to say he's controversial, I think, is a little um, inaccurate. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I mean, just to put you up on that, what, what exactly uh, has he said about the LGBT community that has enraged everyone? Uh, well, he has said, for example, that if you are a transgender prison mate, that you should not be uh, allowed access to hormone therapy, amongst many other things. Uh, there is a reason why every single LGBT org has denounced this nomination today. What I didn't notice yesterday, Perez, because I don't know how you feel about Trump, was that Trump actually said something very positive about the LGBT uh, community yesterday. He actually endorsed an existing order from Barack Obama which supports LGBT rights in the workplace. But I'd, I've been struggling to find your uh, positive tweet or comment about this saying what a good idea it was. Well, because I knew that his Supreme Court pick was coming, and that's really where the damage can come. In America, in many states, it is still legal to discriminate against somebody because of their gender identity or sexual orientation, meaning they could still get fired from their jobs just for being who they are. Eventually, I think that will reach the Supreme Court, and that's why whom Trump nominates is of vital importance to me as a gay man. All right, okay. Alex, let's bring you in. Um, you've heard Perez there. Right. He thinks that this Supreme Court uh, pick by Donald Trump is a nightmare. Uh, mm -hmm. What's your view? I think it's a wonderful pick. Um, I think that Trump's promise to uphold the Constitution and to follow through on his political um, campaign slogans and his political campaign promises are coming to fruition. I mean, this man uh, is a strict con constructionist. Um, he's a strict constitutionalist. He's going to follow the laws of the land. He's not going to make the laws of the land. As he said last night in his speech, he said he doesn't make laws as a judge. The Congress makes the laws. He simply interprets the Constitution. And that's something we're missing in the Supreme Court. And what? in regards to protecting the LGBT community, as a gay man myself, um, I think we, ha we have gay marriage. That's not going away. We have marriage equality. That's not going away. That's been established by the Supreme Court. Um, and in regards to um, whether or not LGBT um, rights are going to be protected, Trump has already said he's behind the LGBT community. Um, and I don't see any reason to fear that the rights of the whole community is in danger. Alex, um, you seem pretty, you know, comfortable with this appointment. Is there anything that um, President Trump uh, has done in the last couple of weeks that you that gives you any sort of heebie-jeebies? I mean, you've probably seen the protests over here in the UK about uh, the ban, the immigrant ban from these seven countries. Um, there are all sorts of, you know, protests about his language about women. There are concerns about the treatment of people who are gay or transgender over in the United States. Do you have any concerns? Do you, are you satisfied with everything so far? Um, I'm not satisfied with everything, Susanna, but first I want to correct you in one thing. I wouldn't call it an immigration ban. I would call it a travel ban because we promote immigration in this country. I would say we're the greatest promoter of immigration in the world. 
Um, and in regards to other things, um, one thing that I would say I disagree with President Trump on would be his um, his choice to nominate DeVos as the Secretary of Education, for one. Um, I just don't agree with her ideas and the way she would carry about um, go about promoting education in this country. But really, overall, I'm very pleased because, for one thing, Trump is finally um, doing something that he said he's going to be doing, unlike many of the politicians that we've had in the past as president. Well, that's certainly one of the things that people are united on, is that what he promised to do in his campaign, he's certainly going ahead and doing as president.